Hey, we are short on time. Sometimes we need to get our message across really quickly, and we have been doing this on consumer platforms for a while. We've got Snapchat. We can record a quick message and, and make that point. We can uh, record stories on Facebook stories and Instagram stories, and we can uh, you know quickly record a, a video and post it to Twitter. Um, you know they've all got their limitations um, in terms of time and how long you can you can use and record that video. Um, but it is a quick way to get that message across, and it's a very rich way to do this. Video messaging. Can we do this within the Microsoft 365 environment? I've just been toying with that idea and I've been trying it out within two platforms that I think can do it. I can do it within Yammer and I can do it within Microsoft Teams. So I wanted to show you the experience and um, how far it's got, how they differ, and how you might use it to um, have video messaging and, and see how it goes. And this um, has become possible because of a couple of changes in the app, at least namely the, the Microsoft Teams one for being able to record. So we'll, we'll step through that. Let's um, just get this going. Here we go. Right, so first of all, we'll look at the, the Teams app. Get into an appropriate team. Uh, we'll choose Skunk Works and Webster Cafe. So what I'm going to do is create a, a video message. Now we can do this with Snapchat and Facebook by just going and swiping left or and you know very quick gestures that help us to do this. Um, but when we are using Yammer or Teams, um, we are going to just create a regular message. This is a test message. All right. And we'll go in and add a picture. And this is where things have changed recently for Microsoft Teams. Um, it used to be that you would just attach a video or attach a picture and you would go into your library, so the photo library option. Um, you could take a picture, uh, but now you can take a video too. Um, and we'll just split that option out here and go and reverse this. Um, this is a video message. So I am playing this through and demonstrating how to use and record a video message into Teams. Not doing too great with holding the camera steady, but that's enough. 10 seconds worth. All right, so it'll give you the preview of being able to go through and, and watch and see was this good. Um, interesting that it's not playing it quite the way that I expect here, but that's all right. Um, and you aren't hearing any audio because I've got various devices plugged in to capture it, but that's good. We can retake that or use it. Let's uh, attach that. So here's where the interesting stuff begins. Um, the file is uploading, and like any attachments, it is being uploaded to the SharePoint document library in the background. Okay, it has uh, the default name of the video file that I have created, um, and so it's picked that up. There's no opportunity for me to, to rename that right here. Um, so we'll post that, and um, that's now available for us to to check it out and watch now while we are on the mobile let's uh, do the equivalent within Yammer and um, and then we'll do a comparison between the two of what the experience is like so we'll go over here to Yammer find our skunk works and create a new message this is also a test video recording now one thing I'd say here is if you're comparing these two experiences um, over in Teams I can give this a subject, whereas in Yammer, uh, the subject you might use a, a hashtag to uh, to get that across, um, but it's not something that is a separate line and you can see easily. Uh, let's go into this photo, and it doesn't a there isn't a separate um, icon there for recording. It's just the camera button, and then you've got the choice of photo or video. And we'll flip that around. And this is a test message, uh, video message that I'm sending to you, team in Skunk Works. Uh, you better read it. I've got this point to get across, and here it is. Hello, everyone. All right, and likewise, you can play that through. You can review it, see, yes, that's how I want it. Um, no options in either of them here to trim it up. Okay, but there it is. It's going to upload. Um, now, and you'll see... <laughs> There's not really much of a progress bar going on there with the Yammer um, upload uh, in terms of video, uh, but there it is, and we'll post that. And what I've noticed, um, at least with uh, with Yammer, is that there is a little bit of processing going on in the background. 
um, you do see the the video has been taken except this time that it's been named something a little more sensible um, because the naming of the video is uh, is being done um, I guess through the app and it says video today time that it was taken dot movie uh, I'm wondering if that's the same uh, thing that happens within uh, teams as well you know is the teams app naming this video that we're, we're taking hopefully um, if it is then it can be changed to something a little more sensible um, so we've got that that video um, we've got the post now let's go over and have a look at what these both look like within um, the team itself and just make some comments around storage and the like pop that down there okay off with the phone and on with the chrome Check out the. There we go. That'll do it. Okay, first of all, looking at Teams. Now, you'll see the message. Um, this is a test message, and I didn't I didn't add any um, subject in here to to make it stand out. But of course, I could have done that as I was posting it. What you see to start with is a reasonably unattractive um, attachment. It is just an attachment, like as if it was a word attachment or a picture or something. There is no thumbnail. There is no um, cover frame that is that is showed here, uh, like you get with some of the consumer options that you can choose all these things as you upload. Um, it is just a, a video attachment. We can at least tell it's a video. Um, we can play that through, all right? And I uh, don't know if I've done this yet, but like by default, when I first open a video, um, you're not showing and playing it in line. What you're seeing to start with is the the video opening up in Teams, and uh, yep, there we go. It is beginning to render and come down. Now we'll go back, I guess, and have a look at the the playing experience too from. Uh, from the mobile as well. Ha, okay, that, normally this works. Let's just uh, give it another go. Normally you don't have to download it. So I was uh, just getting this to work a little earlier, and it could be too that the video is is still rendering in the background, potentially. But when that plays through, you'll see the picture out here in the middle. We'll come back and have a look at that soon. Um, but you see that I'm taken away from the conversation. I'm taken away from the conversation um, channel in the channel. Um, what you will need to do if you want to talk about the video and have a chat um, is you'll open up the chat panel. And when you do that for the first time, at least on this file, uh, the next time you return to that video, it's going to open up this chat panel off to the side. So that's useful, and I can uh, at mention. Matt, oops, Matt Stafford. Oh no, I haven't added him as a as a test user. Jeff, what do you think of this? And by the way, you're in my demo. Sweet. We'll leave that. He's usually quite responsive. Um, so that's my inline chat and and being able to watch and view the video and, and talk about it there. Now what is the Yammer experience like? So we'll go back over to our Yammer post here. Here's our video that we've uh, created and already um, we can see what it is. Right? It's It's got a thumbnail at least. It's showing, I don't know how many seconds into the video it's showing, but it is a frame. Um, so it is a little more compelling to to watch and check out. As I play that video, it is playing in line. I'm not taken away to a different area. I don't have to do anything special to make that happen. Um, and I can watch that video and start to chat about it, like it, etc. Um, so that's all good. Um, I can mention that person there and and continue the continue the conversation. Now one thing that I'll, I'll just switch back up to Teams and say 
one thing that we're going to consider or need to consider if, if we start to use this as a way of video messaging is storage. Um, if you are recording a, a video and you're posting it into Teams, um, then consider how large that video is and that it is going into your SharePoint document library. Um, and uh, with that, okay, so we can't see the, the storage size here. Um, I thought that there was a way to show the info of the file here, but I'm wrong. So we'll go over to showing it within SharePoint. And you'll see that uh, with a few more clicks, get into, here's our video information more details, <laughs> a lot more clicks. This is a, a five megabyte video. Now, that's no big deal, right? It's just a five megabyte video. But uh, as I said, if there's lots of different e exchanges of video responses and lots of video messages in that thread, um, then you're going to get uh, you know, your storage continue to mount up. We do have a terabyte of storage maximum for a, a document library, and well, actually for the whole site within a team. So that's okay. But where did these videos end up? They end up in the uh, the root of the document library. You don't see them, um, you know, they basically that's where they land. So uh, whether you have to drag them somewhere else and does that um, break the the um, the video being able to play in conversation, that, that's uh, yet to be, to be checked out. Um, so consider that with storage if you're going to do this in Teams. Uh, back over here in Yammer, um, we aren't charged for storage. So if we are uploading these to the Yammer feed, um, then they are just going to be there and play and all good, right? No, no need to think about storage. Um, so that's you know another thing to consider there too. Um, let's just go back and I look the, I would say this too I don't expect that to change even though we've got our SharePoint document library right here um, let's just go in here just for interest's sake and just just to confirm yeah that's right uh, any media files photos videos that are uploaded to the Yammer uh, discussion uh, conversation are not um, uploaded into the SharePoint document library now just, just out of interest sake, let's go back to our mobile phone and we'll show you what it's like to play through from the mobile experience. Back over here to Elgato. Right. And here's our video message within Teams. We'll click on that. Okay, play that through. Oop. Try that again. It was definitely longer and it is you know playing full screen it's there um, if we tap into here we've got a uh, does it no uh, it look like I was able to use this as a scrubber but I'm not able to use this as a scrubber as I thumb across here um, it's not really allowing me to change or do anything there but that's fine um, looks like I can access the Apple share capability um, so yeah, a couple of things there that are good, maybe uh, some prove, um, definitely some improvements needed. Uh, if we go through to playing this within Yammer, <laughs> okay, it's um, oh no, that worked. Um, it's it's playing on through, and playing full screen, and um, it's not really giving you the true experience that I'm recording here. Um, uh, I think what it's doing, if if we just sort of hold that up. Uh, is it's using the native Apple um, uh, media player, right? So it's pushing through that, and then it can see that because I'm connected to this display cable to show you what's happening, um, it's pushing it directly through to the way I'm capturing it. So not a not a true way of showing you that experience, but you do have the the play buttons on the bottom, and you'll have the video over here in the middle. I just want to go back and check just one last time to see if that video is going to play within uh, Teams within the browser experience. Go back on over, back into our conversation. Play that through. Come on, you know you want to work. 
you can do it. All right, so there we go. We're going back into that conversation, um, and that's kept the conversation pane open so we can discuss it. Good, see, so it did, it did need a little while to just render and make it available for us to see in the conversation, I expect. Um, now that it's there, we can have that chat, and, um, and it's kind of in line after a few clicks. So I'd sum this up, okay, you, you do have two options here that you can use that I can see within Microsoft Teams and within Yammer to be able to do video messaging. Um, you've got, and we'll just probably best to, to talk our way through this as we're looking at the mobile phone because that's our probably going to be our most uh, common experience um, of this, although we are showing that you can um, see those videos and, and play them through from your desktop or from a web browser. Um, there is no easy way within either uh, Yammer or Teams to record a response from the desktop experience. You have to use a separate camera, um, maybe the camera app and your webcam that's built in and copy and paste that file over as opposed to doing it from the mobile where I can go in here and respond and I can say All right here's a, a new response let's take a video um, and then we'll go check this out and then play and then record right. easy peasy use that and let it post so yeah your best experience is going to be from the from your your mobile and um, look, you see the differences there. Um, both Yammer and Teams can record a video. Um, both Yammer and Teams will play back that preview. Uh, Yammer will attach it, and it won't be. It will be uh, you know, a thumbnail. You'll be able to see it. It'll take a little while to, to render as well, but you can play it in line, um, and you can see that in line. You're not uh, having to do any extra clicks to open up a conversation. Uh, within Teams, it attaches a really unattractive looking um, a name for the file for starters, uh, an attachment that's grey, um, and yes, you can click into it, it'll open up, you can play it, that's cool. Um, you uh, can't, uh, you've got to do an extra click or two to try and open up the conversation pane and chat. Actually, in saying that, um, both mobile experiences don't allow you, of course, to watch the video and have an inline chat. Um, and that's typical of, of playing a video anyway. You want to be able to see that full video and watch that and not be necessarily distracted by the video. Um, we haven't posted that yet. There yet. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the two experiences and um, differences. Do consider the, the storage and, um, and how messy you might want your Microsoft Teams uh, document library to get uh, if you uh, begin to use it this way. I know that I'm using a, a sort of a very fringe case and just testing some things to see if this is possible, uh, but it may get uh, Microsoft Teams and Yammer thinking about um, how they can further improve their video messaging experience. Um, maybe they can both leverage Stream and um, or you know, somewhere in some way that we can provide um, the messaging and not have to worry too much about storage costs or keeping those videos safe. That was Daryl as a service, just checking a few things out around messaging and trying it out. Catch you again.